Outlander fans were left confused and disappointed when Murdoch, played by Duncan LaCroix, appeared to suddenly disappear from the time travel fantasy series midway through season 3. The epic drama had already delivered the surprise Murdoch had managed to survive the horrors of the Battle of Culloden in season 3 episode 4. Suddenly popping up in Arts Muir Prison with his friend and godson Jamie Fraser, Sam Hoogan, Fans were overjoyed to see the gruff Scottish Highlander return. Overtaken by illness and the conditions of the substandard prison, Jamie fought to get help and medicine for his friend and clansmen, which were agreed to. Yet following this, the next time viewers saw Jamie was his release and subsequent stay at the Hellwater estate, before finally ending up in Edinburgh. Murdoch was never mentioned again in the remaining duration of season 3, and was seemingly forgotten by Claire Fraser, Catriona Bailf, in Diana's novels. Murdoch was at in Culloden altogether, so the change was a big thing for the author to wrap her head around at first. Addressing his looming absence and how the writers will tie up the loose ends, Diana shared, I know because I've seen most of season 4 so far. As far as I'm concerned, this character is dead. It'll be alright. That's all I can tell you about it. But the show is the show, and the book is the book, so they have latitude. They can do things, and by and large, I enjoy the novel things that they do. Will Murdoch feature in season 4 in a prominent way? Or will the lovable character be a tiny mention throughout the next 13 episodes? Diana went on to explain the challenges the series writers face adapting her dense and hugely popular novels. You know they can't just take a piece, a piece, and a piece, and film it that way, she said at a Sony Pictures season 3 event. They take a piece from here, and a piece from here. Tony's particularly good at taking elements from the book and combining them in a novel way and putting these really interesting little bits of bridge work in to make it all fit into a seamless fold. And so it's fascinating to watch. So, in so far as they've done that with Murdoch, like I said, I think it works. In terms of the changes from books to screen, Diana couldn't hide her disappointment at the various plot points which end up omitted from the final episode cuts. Oh, sure. I always say this. She admitted easily. There were a number of things from the prison, from Arts Muir, that I would have liked to have seen, but there just wasn't room. Co-Sharon or Tony Graffia then gave her own thoughts on the choice, and even hinted Murdoch wouldn't show up at all in season 4. There's so much I can't remember what's in it, she began, but keeping Murdoch alive for season 3 was just a credit to and a tribute to the character that we were so in love with that we couldn't let go of. Outlander season 4 returns to STARZ and Amazon Prime Video November 4th.